Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about uh, the introduction to asymmetric key cryptography. In our previous classes, we already discussed many of the algorithms based on symmetric key cryptography. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first we are going to understand what happens inside the asymmetric key cryptography. Then we will understand some of the differences between symmetric and asymmetric key cryptography. So coming to symmetric asymmetric key cryptography, suppose there are five systems A, B, C, D, E. If A wants to receive data from the remaining systems, then what A will do is A is going to generate two keys. One is private key and one is public key. A is going to share that public key with all the remaining systems so that all the other systems can send the data to A using this public key. That's why we named it as public key. A is going to keep the private key. This is what we call it as secret key. So A is going to keep the secret key that is we call it as private key. So if B wants to send the data to A, he will use this public key and using this public key he is going to encrypt the data and he will send the data to A. By using this private key, A is going to decrypt the data. This is what happens in asymmetric key cryptography. For encryption, we are going to use one key and for decryption, we are going to use other key. That's why we it got the name asymmetric key cryptography. And one more important point you need to understand here, the privacy means the security is provided for the receiver. Because if A wants to receive the data, A is going to generate the two keys, public key and private key. A is keeping the private key, means the complete secrecy is provided to A. No other person in B, C, D, E is going to know the key, that private key. So that's why the secrecy is provided in the receiver side. This is what happens in asymmetric key cryptography. But what happens in our symmetric key cryptography if A, A wants to share the data, if A wants to send the data to B or B wants to send the data to A, both can share using the same key, secret key. These two systems are going to share the key that we call it as a secret key. Here we named it as a private key, that one secret one. Here A, B both know the secret key. If A wants to send, he use the same secret key to encrypt the data. If B wants to send, he will use the same secret key to send the data. With the same key, A can decrypt. With the same key, B can decrypt the data. This is what happens in symmetric key cryptography. Now try to understand how many keys are required for a symmetric and asymmetric key cryptography algorithms if n, n systems want to share the information. Suppose if five systems want to share the information. How many keys are required for symmetric key cryptography? Suppose one, two, three, four, five, five systems are there. If these five systems want to share the information, one has to share a separate key for two. In symmetric key cryptography, this secret key is used between 1 and 2. Similarly, one more secret key for 3. 1 and 3 use a secret key. 1 and 4 is using a secret key. 1 and 5 is using a secret key. Means 4 keys are needed for 1 if 5 systems are there. Similarly, 2 needs 3 keys. 3 needs 2 keys to share the information up to one key means sum of n natural numbers n minus one natural numbers sum of n minus one natural numbers which is n n multiplied by n minus one by two so total how many keys are needed in order to do share the information between all these five systems in symmetric key cryptography n multiplied by n minus one by two keys are needed in order to do the sharing but what happens in asymmetric key cryptography n keys are needed. 
that's it a wants to receive the data he will generate a private key means that secret key and the public key is shared to all of them so only one secret key he needed for one for system one similarly if two wants to receive data he will generate a secret key private key and the public key is shared to all the systems so n secret keys are needed for asymmetric key cryptography if five is n systems need to share the information similarly and one more difference we need to understand in symmetric key cryptography what what we are going to do in symmetric key cryptography we are doing substitution and permutation of the bits this is what happens in symmetric key cryptography similarly in asymmetric key cryptography we don't do permutations and all those things we are going with mathematical functions on numbers we will convert our characters into numbers on these numbers we are going to apply the mathematical functions during the encryption and decryption we do the mathematical functions so these are the basic things we need to understand for a asymmetric key cryptography and symmetric key cryptography hope you understand these differences and how asymmetric key cryptography shares the information in our coming classes we will understand many concepts and we are going to do some practice examples and all the algorithms hope you understand this class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you